Hello folks, uh, uh, today it is 2011 May June paper 2-1 and uh, question number is 3. This question is concerned with the chapter forces. Uh, the first uh, question 3 uh, uh, asks us about, uh, explain what is been by center of gravity. So it is the point, uh, uh, point of a body uh, through which the gravitational force or the weight is supposed to act. Uh, moment. Uh, so, moment of force is equal to the product of force and uh, uh, perpendicular distance uh, uh, of the uh, uh, of a, the pivot from the force, from the line of action of the force. Now, in number C, we have a student is being a weight. Weight. The student of weight W W stands 0 0.3 meter from end A of a uniform plank AB. So, AB is uniform and uh, the person stands uh, 0 0.30 meter uh, of uh, this end A. The plank has weight uh, 80 newton, 8 newton here, and length 2.0 meters, 2.0 meters. A pivot P supports the plank, pivot P supports the plank, so this is the pivot P, let me do it like this, like this, so it makes things clearer, and is uh, 0 0.50 meter from the end, so it means that uh, since this is 2.0 meter and this is 0 0.50 meter, so this distance will be equal to equal to 1.5 1 1 uh, meters, 5 meters. So, uh, only 5. Uh, so, since it is uh, uh, 0 0.5, this is 2, this is 105, it's okay. Uh, a weight of 70 newton is moved, is moved to balance the weight of the student. So, this is moved here and there to balance it. The plank is in equilibrium when the weight is 0 0.20 meter from end B. So it's 0 0.20 meter from here. Now what happens is since this bar is uniform and uh, uh, and uh, this is the weight here. So this distance should be the distance from here to here should be should be uh, 1.0 meters. So from here to here it should be 1.0 meters from here and again from here to here should be 1.0 meters. So that means uh, from here to here should be, this is 1.0, 0 0.2, so it should be 0 0.80 meters, meters, and this is 1.0, this is 0 0.5, so this should be 0 0.50 meters. So I have listed all distances that might be required here. So it's often a wise decision to enlist all these distances uh, once you get hold of the data. Now. State the two conditions for the plank to be equilibrium. So the first thing is uh, force resultant. Resultant should be equal to zero. And the next thing should be equal to the resultant torque. Torque resultant should be equal to zero. Uh, or again, we can say the sum of the torques or moments should be equal to zero. Or I can also say the clockwise torque should be equal to anti clockwise torque or moment. So if if we use uh, uh, we can use lots of languages uh, for the same concept now the main thing here is in the question number two the main calculation part here so it asks us determine the weight of this thing determine the weight of the weight of the weight of the student weight of the student so let me fold the paper properly so that i can do the calculations weight of the student so now for this uh, let this let me uh, remember that this uh, pivot is P. So the weight of this student student will try to move this thing in anti-clockwise sense. Anti sense. So the anti-clockwise sense is in we have W into 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 this distance should be equal to this is 0 0.3 this is 0 0.5 so this distance should be equal to 0 0.20 so it is or 0 0.2 this is anti-clockwise moment equal to. Now this force since this is pivot, this force will try to move this thing in a clockwise sense. So that's is equal to 80 into, this is, is 0 0.5, already done here, 0 0.5 plus. So with this pivot, this force also, the 7 newton force also will try to move this in clockwise sense, like this. So that's why I must have, this is 70 into. So from here to here, the distance is 0 0.50 plus 0 0.80 so that's equal to 1.3 meters so since i have listed all these distances uh, finding these things are will not be so difficult so now we'll have equal to this is 40 this is uh, something 
something so that will becomes so uh, 80 into 0 0.5 uh, 40 plus bracket 7 70 sorry 70 70 into 1.3 equal to yes 131 so this is equal to 131 which gives us therefore w is equal to 131 by 0 0.2 equal to divided 0 0.2 equal to 655 newton so 655 newton is the answer so 655 now in the last question if only the 7 newton weight is moved moved there is a maximum weight of a student that can be determined using the as been shown in figure 3.1 so if we move this, there can be a maximum weight of this person that we measure. It is shown because so if we if we move it to too too near, what happens is um, this this uh, this thing can trip like this. It can move like this. So if we move too far like this, it will go like this. So what it says is uh, if we move this only, there can be a maximum weight of student that can be made that is measurable with using this arrangement. So, student explain what the changes that we made to increase the weight. So, we have to increase this weight. We have to increase the possible weight of this thing to measure, measure by that thing. So, that's why what we must do is so the anti clockwise moment is given by the product of W and uh, this distance. W and this distance. So, if you want to maximize this thing, this W, we want to we have to reduce this. We have to reduce this thing. We have to reduce this thing. So, that requires that uh, the pivot. So, we have to reduce. Uh, we have to reduce distance distance between between person person and uh, uh, p so it means that uh, we have to move move this move p to the left this p to the left so when we do so the moment here decreases and the moment here increases so we can measure more w out of that so that's the answer to this question.